Hey there everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing Abaddon the Despoiler. Um, I'm actually uh, really looking forward to seeing this guy. Um, this is uh, a dude who's been around forever and ever and ever. Um, what I've got is my old um, Abaddon model and what I'm going to do is I'll actually uh, kind of supply the two but the old one is like you know up to his knees or his chest. It's it's fantastic. Um, we've actually got an idea running around of painting one uh, in white on one shoulder and red on the other shoulder and they'll be the uh, you know the things that tell him which way which way to go and kind of keep him tempted but having little abaddons beside him but um no i'm actually looking forward to seeing this guy uh kind of out and in the mix uh so i figure we'll start with the uh the box and unboxing i have not opened this yet which is uh which is kind of exciting um you know i've been told by a couple friends that the box art itself is really cool so i figured i'd save that initial first impression for for you guys so you see obviously we got the, you know the base cover art here it's you know larger size box so hopefully there's a lot of sprues in there um clearly there's a warning that there's small parts so um you shouldn't uh, shouldn't eat them for sure oh yeah look at the back it's uh oh, this is really nice so it's you know kind of breaking down all the details as to to what's going on they got the eye and another eye huh, maybe there's two eyes of terror now who knows and you know they got kind of the model breakdowns they're showing the highlights you know the old school uh, eye of horus uh for the uh for the black legion and you can see you know the the kind of cool uh, cape in here and the wolf kind of patterny skill um you know the the skins on there he's got his warp sword which is really neat looking and actually it is very much related to the other older model which i'm actually thinking is is pretty darn cool you know he's got the crisscross of the tubing at the front yeah it's gonna be pretty awesome seeing what's going on in here um what else is in here uh, uh, worth noting Oh, is that optional heads or is that just different poses? I don't know. We'll have to see when the thing uh, comes open. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of the kind of the paints that they would suggest you paint it uh, with. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty basic box, all things being equal. Um, let's pull this off here. Oh, yeah, that's an angry dude. Look. <laughs> I like how, you know, what's funny is if you don't read the novels and stuff, you know, you try and get whatever branding you can off the box art. And uh, <laughs> this is this is pretty much it. I wonder if he's frustrated because, you know, after... You know, 13, 14 Crusades, he still doesn't own the whole place. Although, you know, Katie got a, a, a stomping. So maybe he just needed a little bit of a mix-up there to, uh, you know, kind of get him ahead. But, uh, yeah, well, look at that. Big Eye of Terror with the, the Chaos symbol on there. Pretty cool. Chaos Space Marines are bad in the despoiler. Da, 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 da. Neat. All right, let's take a look in the box here. All right. Oh, so it's all in a single sprue. So we've got the instructions. We've got the... Now, the plan with this guy is to have him come up. Look at that, a big 60 mil base. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, the plan with this guy is to uh, leave him in sub-assemblies so the cloak can stay off and all of that. So we're going to see what we can get him assembled up and uh, have him looking pretty sharp. But man, first look at the sprues. Again, super nice and tidy. And I love the efficiency with which they're kind of approaching this problem where they've got, um, you know, like a whole lot of model, but it's all kind of on one on one sprue, which is, which is pretty sweet. I don't know how many leftover bits we're going to have with this guy. I'm looking for that second head, actually. No, maybe not. Something wrong with his face right there, though. Um... But I also like the tie-ins with the other Chaos armor as well. So we've got the new Chaos armor coming out. But it's very much old school marine armor uh, that has been mutated and decorated up. So that looks that looks pretty sweet. You know, loads of detail on the legs here. And I'm actually excited because I don't think that, you know, I, I think they're kind of going back to the, you know, the old school thing where you've got lots of detail, but it's not crazy muddy. I found the, the Chosen from the Dark Vengeance box set. They just had too much going on. So I think they were kind of experimenting a little bit with that. But I think this is a nice mix where you've got detail, but it's not going to make your model too too muddy. i uh, got one hell of a top knot going on there. Look at the chest piece here. You can see what's going on with this guy. Very cool. Yeah, looking really nice. And you can see, obviously, he's like all posed out. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And that sword, that sword is massive. Like, here's the 60 mil base. Like, that sword is huge. So, all right. Well, what I'll do is I'll get them all assembled up, and we'll move on to the next piece. Oh, look at this guy here. <laughs> Foot stomped on him. So, even if you wanted to kind of go back, is that a Primaris? 
It is a Primaris Marine. Oh, how cool is that? So if you're sick and tired of the Primaris and you want to stick with Power Armor and the old uh, the old Chaos guys, this will be your stick too. That's kind of cool. All right, a big trophy rack and all that. Looks sweet. So what I'll do is I'll get it all together and we'll take a really good look at um, kind of how this is set up. Again, we'll do it up in sub-assemblies uh, to the best of our ability. And uh, yeah, we'll see how he looks. Okay, before we get into looking at the model itself, I just wanted to show you a couple other pieces that were in the, the box. The first thing I want to show you, of course, is this uh, really cool uh, second ed uh, little mini poster. And this is the um, kind of the original, I guess, artwork for uh, Abaddon. And uh, it's just... I mean, it's got that gritty kind of early uh, Second Ed Codex feel to it. Everything's very highly stylized. But again, it's just like this despoiler of worlds, and it's just, you know, it's just the power. It's just kind of oozing off of this guy, which is kind of neat. Um, so you could even frame that. Or this one here. Now, I was going to show you a size contrast between uh, Gilman and Abaddon, and this does a great job of showing that off. Uh, but I'll show you the actual models themselves when we get down to that kind of model level there. Um, but just a nice little piece of artwork in there as well. So um, that comes in the box. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, next up, let's look at the instructions. Now, uh, what's nice about this is not only to get the instructions, you get the rule set, um, get the rule set as well, which is pretty cool. Um, now, Originally, I was talking about having things in sub-assemblies, but it's really nice the way they've actually laid it out. You can actually have a Baden with, uh, you know, with his cloaky cape thing on here, or um, you can have him without. And um, the original plan was sub-assembly anyways, to paint the cloak and the details differently. Uh, but when I was putting them together, I wasn't going to put that, that cloak on regardless. I wanted to show you all the detail that goes into that armor on the back. And of course, uh, I, I will show you that there. Um, Putting them together was really neat. Uh, you actually started with uh, this kind of black carapace, and you can't really see it uh, on the model because it's all covered up in the armor, but there's a load of detail on the model itself on the inside. So not necessarily you'd be doing conversion parts, or maybe you would, I don't know. But what's really neat is that they've actually gone through the effort of, of, of detailing the inside. Maybe a waste, but still, it's they've actually done something with it. So maybe you know, if you wanted to do a diorama and have his armor slashed or something, you'd actually see that detail inside. Very neat. I thought that was cool. Um, the pauldrons have an interesting fit. Uh, take your time. Make sure your glue's not too thick. They sit on these little pins, these little uh, standoffs, basically on the arms, and the pauldrons glue directly to that. Um, Make sure you dry fit that one first. I think that's really, really important. Um, the other one that was a big dry fit is the um, the Halen, uh, the Halen, the Talus of Horus, the Talon of Horus. Not enough coffee yet, I think. Um, is this thumb? The thumb was. Uh, you make sure you dry fit that and look at the artwork and stuff. Uh, it's not that it's too confusing. I just found a hard time trying to find that sit right away. Maybe you'll be lucky and it'll go in right away. Uh, but I had a bit of a challenge. I thought I'd mention that. Now. What was really cool about this model is how all the cabling on that um, front piece of cabling there, uh, the the cabling that goes at the back here to his um, uh, to to the to the to supply the power to the the talon there, uh, all of the cabling just matched up perfectly, which was which was really nice to see. I think it'd be very uh, easy to not have that sit just right, but the uh, the sprues were in great shape for that, so no worries there. Um, then it goes on in the instructions about how to put it on. Uh, the base is kind of neat. I'm going to talk about that when we look at the models themselves. Uh, but let's, um, we got to look at the, the sheets here as well. We've got, um, you know, Abaddon the Spoiler. Uh, sorry, Abaddon. I keep saying Abaddon. Now that I've said it once, it's in my head forever. Uh, it's a single model armed with his uh, sword, the Drachnian, and the Talon of Horus. Only one of these models may be included in your army because that would be crazy. Um, the, the Talon of Horus, uh, which is nice when it shoots, it's rapid fire too. Uh, again, so it gets that uh, Heretic Astartes, the new bolt rules, which is great. But the damage, look at that baby. D3 damage on that sucker. And it fires two shots. So that's potentially quite a lot of range damage going out the door. Uh, the Drachnian is melee melee, uh, plus one strength, minus three AP and three damage. Just huge of damage, especially with those crazy six attacks. Uh, he moves six inches so he won't be left behind. Uh, he shoots everything. He uh, combats everything. So he definitely is this, this superhero in this thing. Toughness is five, which is nice. It's not some kind of crazy monstrous creature. Um, 
Eight wounds is great. Uh, leadership 10 and a save is two plus. So just a really nice kind of setup for this guy. He feels great, but he doesn't necessarily feel too OP. You can still do damage to him, which is which is kind of nice. Uh, roll a d6 each time the bear fights. On a one, they suffer a mortal wound because it's the old school demon weapons, right? And cannot use this weapon further during the phase. On a two plus, they can make as many... Uh, that many additional attacks with this weapon. Oh, man. So six. You can get up to 12 attacks with the Drachnan. Crazy. Um, the Talon of Horus and Melee as well. Now, I do believe, and actually I want to get your feedback in the comments here. I believe they can use both these weapons in combat. So now he's pounding down with a Power Fist, basically, of um, times two uh, damage, uh, minus four um, on the... Um, uh, uh, on the AP, and then D3, my eyes went up to strength. I'm like, that's not right. Um, minus four on the uh, AP, and then D3 damage in there, which is pretty nuts. Um, and you'll notice that it doesn't have any of the unwieldy uh, elements to it as well, where it strikes last or anything like that. So this is an absolute monster. Uh, very, very, very cool. Uh, he's got the death to the false emperor. Um, uh, Abaddon disposed your warlord. Abaddon... Uh, is the warlord to receive two additional command points? Perfect. Dark Destiny, four plus invuln save. All damage suffered by Abaddon is halved. Oh man, so he's just super tough. Lord of the Black Legion. Um, Reroll hit rolls for friendly Black Legion units um, while they're within six inches. So better than a um, than a captain for sure. Automatically pass morale tests within twelve inches. Fantastic. And then you can teleport him in as well, uh, put him in with a big pile of Terminators to, to kind of act as his bodyguard. And then, of course, he's got all the, the, the faction keywords, which is the coolest thing about Abaddon, uh, is he benefits from a little bit of everything. No, really, really sweet. Uh, they've got all the different uh, kind of directions and all that. And, of course, we've got our cool painting guide on the back. All right, so what I'll do is I'll tidy up the uh, I'll tidy up all my uh, workbench here, and then uh, I'll get um, the size comparison down. I'll get the camera down a little lower. All right, so before I get into the kind of you know the specifics and the kind of the breakdown, the detail of the model, I just want to do a quick kind of size comparison. Uh, you'll see that he fits very well in with uh, the new uh, Chaos Space Marines, and he you know the new Obliterator here is just kind of give you a little bit of a, a kind of a breadth of how uh, big the model kind of stands. Um, and he fits like he fits really, really well within the new range. He's definitely bigger and kind of more inflated by the the chaos gods. Uh, not quite the size of a Primarch, mind you, but he's he's kind of getting up there in terms of that kind of demonic possessed uh, size, which is great. Um, so yeah, fits very, very well um, in very well with the rest of the uh, of the new chaos releases. Um, he's not quite finished yet, or or, or you know uh, ready to go. Uh, but I thought I would bring in uh, Gilmon as well, uh, just to kind of offer a little bit of a size balance. Uh, you know, by the time you factor in the head and then the size of the sword on the model, he's going to stand uh, quite a bit bigger in terms of just sheer model size um, than uh, Abaddon. But uh, again, you've got the Primarch, but he's definitely rivaling that kind of Primarch size so uh, very cool to see that size comparison for sure and then uh, it wouldn't be complete uh, without a little tiny Abaddon 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 little tiny Abaddon and oh man look at that like what a size difference between the two like even if I put this guy up on cork um, you know he wouldn't he would be dwarfed by the new Abaddon so I'm really thinking it's just kind of a cool update to a very powerful character. And I also think it's really important that we have large kind of centerpiece, um, uh, you know, figures for our armies. And uh, I think the old guy, although a cool little model, uh, didn't quite um, didn't quite measure up for sure. Uh -huh. um, now, again, I think the plan should be to have, uh, you know, kind of suspended up here, have uh, good Abaddon, and then get another one and put them over here and have uh, evil Abaddon, uh, paint one in red and one kind of in an angelic white. And they'll uh, help inform, you know, kind of, you know, what we should do. Should we should we kill them all? No, 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 we should save them so we can rule them. And then they'll probably just choose to kill them all anyway. Um, but it is really neat to see uh, that kind of size, the size comparison there. Okay, so... 
breaking down the model I haven't got it mounted on the base I wanted to make sure that the base was painted and I wanted to talk about a few of the uh, really cool design choices that they made uh, let's start with the base uh, of all things now of course he's stomping on a Primaris uh, Marine and in the box art they've got him painted up as, uh, as a lieutenant there and what I really like is you've got all these extra little bits and details and these uh, torches and what's interesting is that they've learned from the uh, Gilmon set that these guys are really, uh, really fragile. Um, but when, let's get him out of the way. Um, but when we're dealing with uh, this guy, with the bad one, when he's on his base and his cloak is all turned out, you'll see that the, it, you still get kind of the cool torch look, but it is blowing in towards um, blowing in towards the body, which is, which I think is pretty sweet in the sense that it'll actually protect it quite well, which is nice. Um, the, you know, little bits of, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to figure out where this is from. It's like either Eldar or, or I, I don't know. I don't know what it's from. Uh, maybe you guys can spot that in the comments for me, but I'm not really sure where that's from. But, you know, this guy is like rampaging across the universe. And of course, it's got the nice kind of stylized uh, base, which is pretty cool with that casualty in there. Now, the model himself, again, without the um, without the, the cloak that's there, and I'll look, look at the cloak in a second. I mean, he's got loads of animation. You can see that you know, that top knot is blowing the, uh, you know, the uh, the tabard at the bottom here is kind of blowing on as well. Uh, and it's just got a lot of kind of, you know, gravitas and kind of uh, presence on the field, which is which is pretty neat. Um, they have gone through and pretty much echoed uh, exactly what the Talon of Horus is. Uh, it's a storm or combi bolter, I guess, or storm bolter. Um, and you know it's this big huge kind of power fisty thing and they've really gone to town uh, making that again just echoing all those pieces that are in there um, and having the extra connection uh, so instead of just connecting to the to the elbow um, here they're connecting it to the um, to the back to the the back of the suit to draw power so really neat the way that's that's set up um, they've kept the pauldrons uh, the same as the other uh, but only highly detailed you've got the eye of horse and what's nice about this is it's actually um, it's actually detailed into the armor in 3d so it'll make it a breeze to paint um, you'll see here they got the chaos star uh, kind of undivided or I guess divided amongst all of them uh, you know in those symbology which is great uh, again kind of the big uh, the big belt buckle up here very the the Wrestlemania <laughs> kind of big belt buckle in there but again lots of detail to draw your eye in they're very much a possessed looking uh, kind of leg plate uh, you know chains and skulls all kind of in there but very much a classic a uh, space marine a uh, chaos space marine in many many different ways and they just really kind of dressed it up and like amped it up you know kind of dialed it up to like an eight or a nine or you know a 12 whatever uh because of the you know the heresy and all that he's got lots of rivets in his armor to kind of show that kind of allegiance to the past there which is cool and i just really like the old school kind of terminator fixings uh, that they've carried forward on here Really awesome, like really, really good. Um, with the trophy rack, uh, of course, they've got the skulls. Uh, they've maintained the one. I always thought this was cool, like originally, uh, was there's a Tyranid skull uh, right there. And they've actually carried that forward into here. And he doesn't just fight against, uh, you know, humanity. He fights against everybody. Uh, so they've got the, the Tyranid skull in there. And, of course, they've got the new Mark IV slash Primaris head up there as well. Uh, a little bit of kind of symbology and, and, and kind of demon, demonic kind of beaten, beaten bronze uh, on the trophy rack. And it's really held aloft and up high. And it gives lots of volume uh, to the model itself which is cool everything's all kind of banged up and scratched up you've got this uh, the, the kind of the power pack at the back here uh, that the venting from the old school terminators and yeah it just it really came together super nice uh, the dragon is is you know this very warped kind of demonic thing you can see you can just imagine the you know the energies flowing off of this sword uh the whole time as it's uh you know constantly shifting and changing and i also like that the sword you know it's uh, it's got a demonic name and it literally will turn on him and uh you know cause wounds to him directly very cool model um oh there was uh let's look at the sprues here that were left over 
we've got a couple things going on here. We've got uh, obviously we've got the uh, the bits for the cloak, uh, but you know the cloak literally just goes over top, and so we can you know paint the cloak separately and then put it on or leave it off as optional. And then there's the two other faces that are in here. You've got like angry face, you've got you know strategy face, and then you've got the bane face as well. And that's what we decided to go with on here, um, just to just to give them that little bit of a, a more kind of classic look. And then you can do your uh, your bad uh, Bane impersonations uh, the entirety of the time that you're playing with them. So very cool. Uh, you know, side note, go Google up uh, uh, Bane Freestyle uh, Batman, I think, just because there's uh, the, uh, <laughs> there's another singer called Bane. Um, but Bane Freestyle uh, Batman, and uh, you will not be disappointed. It'll be gold. Gold, gold, I tell you. Um, so that's it, guys. This is uh, like a really beautiful model, really well detailed. Uh, putting it together was amazing. Uh, because of all the different layers, it literally felt like you were dressing him up uh, in his armor the way it an old school armor would. I thought that was really, really cool. I like that the arms are out and, you know, kind of big and bold, uh, way better than, uh, you know, the old school pose where it's, you know, like very straightforward and straight on. Um, but uh, no, just, nope, oh, can't wait to see him uh, on the field. Uh, going to look just awesome in the games. So um, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is uh, it's been a pleasure to kind of put this model together. Uh, it went together super well, and uh, was just it was just great. Loads of animation. So big thumbs up from me. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you liked it, obviously hit that like button. Uh, if you want more videos like this, that subscribe button is a click away. And if you hit that little notification bell, you'll get notifications on all your devices. We'll spam the crap out of you whenever a new video uh, comes out. That won't be me. That'll just be YouTube doing that. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll catch you in the next video.